There is no refreshed Model X or S coming, only a series of minor ongoing changes. Most significant change in the past few years was to use high efficiency Model 3 rear drive unit as an S slash X front drive unit. That went into production three months ago. And this is true, unlike traditional automakers that might have a different model every year, Tesla continues to research and test different parts that might improve the vehicle. And if they show that it'll actually improve the vehicle, they'll go ahead and implement it right away instead of waiting for the next model year. Probably the biggest change we've seen in recent years was the facelift they did in 2016, where they removed that black grill that is kind of a faux grill on the front of the Model S and now have the more streamlined design that matches the body color. Yeah, just like, uh, just like right on the front here. So they used to do this black like nose cone and now they just make it a body color. I think it looks a lot better, honestly. And yeah, if you like all my Hot Wheels back here, hit that like button down below. So since 2012, when the Model S started getting released to the public, there haven't been a lot of changes except for that facelift. Cars pretty much stayed the same. Like Elon said in his tweet, probably the biggest change they did recently was replacing that front drive unit. But there are also a lot of big changes coming from what we've seen recently in Tesla news. First one is pretty big and that is the Plaid powertrain. If you've been following Tesla news recently, you've noticed that they've been over at the Nurburgring trying to take on the Porsche Taycan with a Plaid Model S. And if you remember from the Roadster unveil, the only thing past ludicrous speed that the current Model S has is Plaid and that's gonna be in the new Roadster. You know, there's, uh, I don't know if you've watched Spaceballs movie, but there's, there's only, thing, there's only one thing that's beyond ludicrous, which is plaid. <laughs> the new Roadster is going to have three motors this time, so two in the back and one in the front. This thing will have three motors, so it's all-wheel drive, one motor in the front, two, in, two on the rear. This will definitely give it some insane performance, probably bringing it very close to the reported 1.9 second 0-60 to 60 time on the new Tesla Roadster. And since this new powertrain will likely require a new chassis, this is a great time for Tesla to also replace the battery pack that they've been using in the Model S. Like I mentioned in my video on the Model 3, why it is the best Tesla right now, the Model 3 is using new batteries and a new battery pack that the Model S is not using. And given this chassis redesign, I feel like it's natural that they'll go ahead and redesign that to fit a new battery pack. I think it's likely that they will use the 18650 cells they're currently using on the Model 3, but they might also start using the Maxwell battery chemistry that might unlock some more energy density and give us some more range. Because the Model S is a much bigger car than the Model 3, they'll probably have a lot more capacity. Right now we've got a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack, but the new Roadster is supposed to have a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack, and that's actually a little bit smaller than the Model S. So I would not be surprised if we saw something in the 150 to 200 range in the new Model S. And with all those changes, I would not be surprised to see a car with 550 or more miles of range, which is just insane and will finally put to bed the idea that electric cars do not have any range. And with all those changes to the chassis, I would not be surprised if they also took another look at the actual body of the car, maybe updating some of the styling there and maybe even making it more aerodynamic than it already is. All of these changes are coming towards the end of 2020, so we still have some time, but all of these things are gonna make the Model S an even better car than it already is. So let me know if I miss anything that we've already heard about, or there are other things that you wanna see in a refreshed Model S, but that is everything I know about right now. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed as well so you don't miss any of my future Tesla-related videos. I'll see you in the next one.